Hi, I'm Marcy Gonzalez, and this is The Rundown. The flu, COVID, and RSV are leading to a shortage of popular over-the-counter medicines. A spokesperson with Johnson & Johnson says high demand is to blame, not short supply. The company is now working to increase production, but says some products like children's Tylenol or Motrin might not be readily available. The Rialto police station right here is now a crime scene. That's where a man tried to ambush an officer armed with what appeared to be an assault rifle. The suspect was shot multiple times and remains hospitalized. We're told the officer was not hurt. Good news for Dodgers fans. Future Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw is returning to the team for his 16th season. Kershaw finalized a one year $20 million deal with the team. The left hander has been a Dodger his entire career with 197 wins, which ranks third overall in franchise history. And now here's meteorologist Alex Biston. Hi, Marcy. Good morning to you. We are looking at a mix of sun and clouds heading into this afternoon. Temperatures below average in the 60s. We will see a chance of showers increasing as we head into tonight, into the overnight hours and into early Wednesday. Otherwise, we will stay dry through at least Friday. Chance of showers return as we head into Saturday. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s across the Inland Empire today and tomorrow with lower 60s returning Thursday and Friday. Beaches around 61 degrees with a chance of rain increasing in the overnight hours into early Wednesday. More sunshine for the rest of the day on Wednesday across the high deserts. Temperatures in the mid 50s and snow levels right at around 5,000 feet. So a chance of snow up in the higher elevations next chance as we head into the weekend. Marcy. All right, Alex, thank you. And remember, we are always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. You can watch anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Marcy Gonzalez.